Cooking for one with Katie. Me. Don't be I wish to have someone to do a wishbone with. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Cooking for One with Katie. Um, I'd like to introduce Lisa. Oh. Hi. Lisa, um... Is I was a little nervous for her very first nationally nervous? syndicated cook cooking show. Yes. Now, she's been on national TV before. <laughs> but not cooking. Right. Still. We have a famous basketball player here in the house. <laughs> and I'm pregnant, and I can't even eat it because I had dental work. Today. That so that's dedication, dedication to my friend Katie here. Atta girl. We are making, we call it the best sandwich on the planet. That's what my little girl calls it. And my husband calls this salad the salad that should always be in the fridge hmm. at all times. I wonder if I can get that to fit on the screen. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> But it's good for cooking for one because the salad lasts at least a week in the fridge and um, the sandwiches are really easy to make. So you're just going to chop all your vegetables. What do we have? A cute. cucumber, avocado, tomato, green onions, red pepper. Red pepper you want to chop really small. Um, bean juice or black beans and chickpeas. I don't like chickpeas but my husband does so I put them in. I like chickpeas. Yeah, what's well, wrong with chickpeas? What's wrong with chickpeas? <laughs> I'm kind of a biased girl. I would like black beans. But that's okay. Garbanzo beans. And then I use frozen. You can totally use canned corn if you want to make it easy. But I like easier. So like this is that hard. You just put this in the microwave for 30 seconds to get it not frozen. Not frozen. Okay, I'm just peeling the cube. And you almost don't even have to edit this because it's going to be so fast. Okay, so we got our beans, we got our chickpeas and our black beans. Dice your cucumber thick, really thick. Like that? Yep. And then dice those small. Chopping the pepper, really, really small. Add the corn. I'm pouring left-handed and stirring right-handed. Don't I look skilled? <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. It's crunchy, it's delicious. This same recipe, you pull out the cucumbers and you pull out the red pepper, but you leave in the avocado and green onions and the beans. It's called cowboy dip and you dip chips in it. Ew. It's really yummy. You know, Lisa may have been on national TV before, but so have I. <laughs> In fact, it was about a year ago when I went and saw David Letterman in New York City. And they, uh, there's a brief second when I'm on TV. <laughs> That's right. So, I'm just as famous as Lisa. So all you do is spread mayo on your bread. And you can toast your bread before if you like toasted bread. So we got the bread mayo with mayo. Yep, yeah, just stick it right there. And then you're going to just slice a couple of slices of that off. I don't know why anybody would ever not put bacon on anything. <laughs> so anyways, this is yummy with added bacon, is what I'm saying. Okay. It's like a little pizza. It's like a little margarita pizza. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it takes two seconds to make. And you call it a sandwich. Best sandwich on the planet. I'm excited to have a bite of this, baby. <laughs> you ready for this? Mm. Wow. It's really good. That's tasty, huh? And how simple is that? Especially for someone who doesn't love tomatoes. This yeah. is delicious. Yeah.